All right, you guys, so you want to check out how to create this grainy, grungy text effect here in Illustrator. I'm going to go with this custom text as a reference. And if you type in some text, then make sure to right click on it and select create outline before starting the process. All right, so I'm going to select the text and let's go to the appearance. If you don't have the appearance, you can go here to the window and select the appearance. Now from here, let's go down to the right corner, click on the fill. This is going to add a stroke and the fill. I'm going to go to the fill and I'm going to change up the color to white. Make sure that you selected the fill. Now we're going to go to the effect. Let's go to stylize and I'm going to go and select the inner glow. First here, make sure to go to the mode and select multiply. And let's go here to the color and I'm going to change it to black. Click OK. Increase the opacity to 100%. And here with the blur, you can customize it. So if you increase it, it is going to fill it up. If you decrease it, it is going to make the center part of the text more white. So I'm going to try it out with 17. Make sure it's on the edge and click OK. Next, we're going to go back to the effects. Let's go to pixelate and select meso tint. And here you're going to need to go to the type and select the coarse dots. Click OK. Now if I zoom in, you can see the grunge is quite big and I want to make this grungy grain a little bit smaller. So what I'm going to need to do is basically scale up the text. So if I press and hold shift plus alt and scale it up, you can see it is going to customize the grunge. So I'm going to increase it like this. And as you can see, the grunge and the noise got really small. And in my situation, I'm going to go with the width 600 and it's going to be like 600 by 300. Make sure to link it. And of course, we're going to need to recustomize the inner glow. So let's go back to the fill, click on the inner glow. And I'm going to go to the blur and I'm going to decrease it. So it's going to brighten it up. Click OK. I'm going to go back to the effects. Let's go to distort and transform and select a roughen. So here we're going to need to add a little bit of distortion. So I'm going to decrease the size. I'm going to go all the way down. Actually, I'm going to need to go under 1%. So I'm going to go with 0.7. I'm going to try it out like that. It's still quite big. I'm going to go to the detail. I'm going to decrease and I'm going to lower the size a little bit more, maybe to 4, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 and adjust the detail however you like. And also make sure to select smooth. So size is going to be 0, 5, detail 5. Click OK. From here, let's go to the object, rasterize. Make sure to select transparent. I'm going to go with the rest of the settings how they are and click OK. And now but least, we're going to go to the image trace at the properties, click on it and select default. Now let's go to the image trace settings, open it up. And here you can go to the threshold and decrease it. And this is going to open up the composition even more and make it more lighter. Or if you increase it, it is going to make it more darker and add more contrast. But I'm thinking to increase it quite a bit. And if you want to make it more noisy, you can go here to the noise and decrease the noise. And this way it's going to add a little bit more noise. I'm also going to decrease the corners to zero. I'm also going to decrease the paths to zero as well. Make sure to check ignore color and click on expand. And that's how I make this grungy grainy text effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.